Okay, who else is getting absolutely sick of the fake guru situation in the SMMA agency space right now? I actually feel like in the last month, it's really gotten bad. So bad that I thought I would have to make a video about it and give you my opinions on the situation and how we can fix it as a collective community. You know, sometimes we think we're so smart in this space, you know, like, oh, we're young and we're making money online. Oh, all those suckers that are working nine to fives, they're idiots, you know, we're making lots of money, hashtag hustle. But ironically, a lot of the people that get sucked into the, with these fake gurus are the equivalent of the elderly getting sucked in for a scam. All the signals are there that something's not right, yet we still do it because we're sold on a dream. The same way you've got all these old people out there that get scammed by, you know, romance scams and people promising them. The old people that get scammed, you see them on the news. There's a lot of people out there that are just doing the same thing. It's just a more sophisticated situation that requires more time and effort from the scammer. Now, what I don't like about this space and what I don't like about the current guru situation, technically I'm a guru as well. I'm on the internet creating content. I like to think I'm slightly different, but you know, I am similar, right? Like I'm in the same breath. There's going to be a lot of you guys saying that. But what I don't like about the current situation is that you have a whole bunch of people teaching a whole bunch of other people ways to make money as quick and as effortless as possible. And, and why I think it's so bad at the moment, the, the whole like fake guru, it just feels like whenever you jump on YouTube, that's all you see. The whole reason the whole fake guru situation feels so bad is because you've got a second generation of fake guru that's appeared. So when I first started doing marketing, you had the fake gurus and they were like guys that did emails, you know, like email marketing, email that was setting up very simple uh, funnels, but they were selling, you know, the what were the basis of modern courses. And, you know, we got caught in those scams as well. But to those guys and their credit, a lot of them worked hard in the brick and mortar world to develop the concepts that they came up with that they tried to turn into digital assets, right? They were like a pioneers of the digital space. They had uh, a concept that worked in the brick and mortar world and they were like the pioneers of cutting edge of like, how do I turn this into Google ads or Facebook ads? And now we're just trying to work out how to teach that. Doesn't it doesn't make what they did right. Now what we have is a second generation of fake guru. We have all these people that are in their early to mid twenties. And I'm not saying it's an age issue, it's just, it's a good representation of the gurus we're talking about. And we all know the gurus I'm talking about, right? I'm not gonna say their names here, but we all know who they are. And the problem is, they've only ever earned money doing this, right? They've only ever earned money in the digital world. Now, the problem with that is they have no reference point to how the rest of the universe works. If they were to pull the shit that they're pulling now on you guys in the brick and mortar world, let's say, for instance, they you know, were in the finance space and they're working with a business and they just wholesale ripped them off for 10 or 12 grand, sold them on a concept or a course that just didn't work. Do you think a plumber who invested in that is just going to go, oh, yeah. I'm happy to take that on the chin and just move on. We are in the digital space. A lot of people that get sold these courses are. Hell no, they'd probably be down there with a couple of mates busting his door down, you know, punching the money out of them. And I think that's what's made it so bad is because there's no recourse for a lot of these fake gurus out there that are just selling vaporware. They're selling a concept that may have worked or they're just, they've made their wealth by selling courses and then they put it under the lens of like they've done something and they were successful at it. And that's the hard thing about the whole fake guru situation, right? It's because a lot of these guys have actually made money doing what they're doing. But the biggest problem is they pretend like they made the wealth they have now and they're sitting in Dubai and private jets and, and they're like sitting on the beach and stuff and they pretend like they did that doing SMA or they pretend they did that having an email marketing agency. When we all know how they got there is by selling the shovels to us as marketing agency owners, as businesses, as email marketing agencies, things like that. And we all know that. And we live in this mass delusion. And as someone that is trying to create content and provide genuine value out there, it's actually really hard to break out. It's actually much easier. If I wanted to really grow my channel and get 10,000, 20,000 subs, all I'd have to do is just make how I make $10,000 a month. The, the, the cheat codes are making $10,000 a month. This is the quickest way to start a seven-figure agency. How to start a seven-figure business without any work. They're all titles that a majority of this space clicks on. 
if you're not making that content, it's extremely hard to get traction, honestly. You know, I've been at <laughs> making YouTube videos now for years and I've just cracked a thousand subscribers because all of my content is informational. It's, you know, how to create Facebook ads, how to do this, the stuff that you actually need to know to succeed. And as a active operator in this space, doing marketing, like the stuff that I am constantly learning and up iterating and upgrading on, it's the stuff you need to know, but no one clicks it. Everyone wants to click to how to make 10K the fastest, how to do this the fastest, how to make so much, all this money without doing any work. And honestly, that's how you stop these fake gurus. If you guys, if, if we all just decide collectively that we are sick of the whole 10K hustler, you know, I'm, we're sick of the, all the people that are out there that are just trying to sell the dream of something without actually delivering, showing people how to do it. If we just didn't watch that content, then it wouldn't exist. They would have to change their strategies and evolve with the times and you just have to look at Alex Hermosi to see, okay, if you provide genuine value, the results are there. But a lot of these guys have sold a narrative about how they got to where they are, that they're all scared to create that content that could expose them for not knowing how to do ads or expose them for not knowing, you know, expose them for not having an agency, things like that. That's why they don't do it, even though they know the strategy works. But if we force their hand and make them do it, then there'll be less fake gurus because it'll be a lot harder to pretend you're a guru if the status quo for the SMMA marketing world is that you have to be able to prove through action and through showing people how to do things that you're a guru, right? I'd love for people to call me a guru, but I'm embarrassed when people say that because it has such a negative connotation in this space now. You know, people just hear that you're a guru and go, oh, this guy's trying to sell, uh, you know, sell me something that doesn't work. I hate that. I hate that about this space. It's like the worst thing about it, honestly. And that does have to change. We have to fix that for this space to continue to grow and get traction and continue to uh, bring in good ideas and thoughts and new ideas and concepts. That's how you create a healthy ecosystem. You don't create a healthy ecosystem by having a whole bunch of people speed running to 10K a month. That's how you don't, you don't create a healthy ecosystem because to do that, you have to cut corners and... All that does is piss the clients off and make it harder for all of us to get clients. So I don't know if this video will reach anyone. That's not the, really the point of making it. This is just my daily walk that I do and I, gather, I give my thoughts as someone that's been there and done that and is still doing it. I give my thoughts on ways we can improve this space, things we can do collectively, things like that. And I don't know if this video will get any traction. I hope it does because I'd like, if it's not me, someone to be the champion of providing real value and real content and then the community get behind them and go, yes, this is the content we wanna see. We wanna see content on like how to actually create ads. We wanna see content on how to hire people properly. We wanna see content on margins and stuff like that. That will expose all those fake gurus who their business model relies on you guys to buy their courses and, and buy the stuff they're selling. So hopefully this video gets some traction. I don't know if it will, but I enjoy giving my thoughts because like I said, I spend a lot of time making content on like how to do things. And sometimes it's nice just to give my thoughts because I've been doing it a long time and I've been able to see things that uh, a lot of people haven't because of it. So if you found this valuable, please share it out. Please try and get some traction in this video so we can start a little movement. If not, all good. Hopefully I've made your day a little bit better. And I want you guys to know that I've been doing this for eight years now and I've been trying to do good work in that eight year period. And I want to be an example that you can succeed in this space and earn decent money if you're doing good work. And you don't have to just hustle and grind and be like the hashtag two hour uh, work week or, you know, yeah, I don't know. I just want to show people that if you work hard, you can still succeed, right? That's why I've been my modus operandum for the whole time. So hope you found this video valuable, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.